The lawyers engaged in a march demanding to stop undue influence on the judiciary. A reporter said that the group then protested for about an hour. If a judge cannot work freely, if he is pressured, if he is threatened, if his decision is changed, then we have no freedom in this country. If orders are given from above to change the judgments, the responsibility of stopping them is on the side of this legal community. We would like to remind you that it was a day that when the black cloaks of the north and the black cloaks of the south came together and raised their voice for justice. We all have a fight to win. There is a battle to win democracy. We have to fight that fight together. You have laid your hands on democracy. You have laid your hands on the rule of law in this country. The constitution of this country has been tampered with. That is why, in order to protect this, today the North and the South came together like the children of one mother and we will fight tomorrow for justice. At this time, it is confirmed that we will fight against it. We are telling the government, telling the judiciary, Service Commission that this situation should be changed. After making an inquiry about this, justice should be done to that judge. This would be the case where we create history. Meanwhile, another group of lawyers visited the protest site and expressed their opposition to the protest. As lawyers, we should act intelligently. Law is the same for everyone. The law should be fair to all. Everyone should be able to listen. As lawyers, we cannot be biased. We don't care about politics. Legally speaking, this judge has given a wrong decision. After that, because he was unable to stay there, he escaped and flew overseas. We have strong doubts about the actions of the judge in this case, but there was no threat at that time. A silent protest was held opposite the Nigambo High Court complex today under the theme Do not influence the judiciary. We condemn the threats against the Mulative Magistrate. The protest was organized by the Nigambo Citizens Association. This is not the first time. This is happening continuously and this is devastating. If the judges are afraid of politics and hesitate to make decisions, the people have no justice. That is why we are saying today that the politicians' power to influence the independence of the judiciary must be taken over by the government. The thugs of the MP who influence the Mulative judge should be brought to justice.